All right, have a quick unboxing today. A Creighton 6S, ready to run. Figured I'd pick one up. Um, I also picked up the 4S version of this, but today I'm gonna unbox this 6S version. So, a lot of people have been talking about how great this RC is. I never picked one up because honestly I really didn't like the body style but so far I've been very impressed with the Arma stuff so I figured I'd give them a shot since I have almost every other Arma RC now I figured might as well finish off and get the whole set of Arma vehicles so I'm gonna get this thing unboxed and uh, let's see uh, what's in it. All right, there we go. What's really strange is this RC didn't have plastic covering over it. But there you go, extra body clips, some shock stuff, tool kit. I wonder if there's a gear in this one. I don't know if they have a high-speed gear. Oh, yeah, looks like there might be a high-speed gear in there. So, yeah, normal toolkit stuff. I'm sure this is the remote. Hopefully, it's not that. Yep, it's the cheesy remote, the one I hate. God, I can't stand this remote. STX2. I really dislike this remote. You know, as you see, I'm getting a bunch of them now, and I really, really dislike this one. You know, if they had the other one, I don't know why these, these spectrums, these are, these are really good. I like these. This is the DX2E. That one works okay, but these things, they lag, the signal's horrible, these buttons keep turning when you put the remote in the car. I don't know, just not a big fan of those at all. They lag pretty bad. So let me see if I can get this thing up out of here. It's a pretty small RC. It looks like a 10 scale. I wonder if it's a 10 scale. I figured 6S would be a little bigger. Doesn't really say. But it definitely looks pretty small. has to say easy access center diff and motor it's got some stuff on here ultra detail decals body print style in red black or blue black and of course I got blue. I'm not a big fan of the red. Copperhead two tires, hub and nut O-ring, center brace, easy access, center diff. And it looks like it has that big body support. So I'm pretty sure that this is a 10 scale. it looks really looks about a 10 scale to me I never really looked this is one thing that gets me 
they put these green dots and I, I always think they're green but it marks just the color out of the red and black or the blue and black it marks it but I saw this on uh, one of the boxes I was like oh they're all green so it does say it's an haste scale four-wheel drive electric RC but that's really small for an a scale it really looks like a 10 scale I wonder if the four is version is a uh, is an a scale that's funny but basically e revo size so and even the e revo body looks a lot bigger because the body extends to the wing where this one's cut off and doesn't really cover the rear shocks but I definitely like the metal shock tower. Looks like it's gonna be a pretty good basher. And uh, sits a little lower than the E Revo in height. But yeah, I think this would be a pretty decent compar comparison against the E-Revo on 6S and the Creighton 6S, which I'm sure people have done that already. So there's a little quick unboxing. I'm gonna get this thing run and see how I like it. So far, I've been impressed with the whole Arma line. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be happy with uh, this RC. Let's take a look inside. And I do like their body clips, how they're attached. Oh yeah, the body, oh God, the body is really, really flimsy on this body. Now I know why they're bracing it, because that body is just really, on the sides, really thin. But yep, BXL system, seems like everything they put in there. I do like this for kicking up rocks. I wish they had something back here to kind of block the stuff from going in, but I guess that helps slide stuff out maybe. This chassis looks like it would bend really easy in the back. How it's all open right there. It looks like I would bend it right here, but maybe these supports will stop that from happening. And the diffs do look very easy to get to, just right in here. So like the, the big shocks that it has on it. It's got, I imagine a center diff and easy to get to the diff in the back. So I wonder if uh, it's got metal gears for the diffs, does it show? It does have center spool, but doesn't really show the diffs on the box. I wonder if uh, they're metal diffs, that looks like it's all plastic for the center diff but it just it might be just the gear that gear is definitely plastic on the center diff on 6s you think you think it'd be metal but can't wait to give it a rip i'm gonna run it later today but that's my little unboxing of the Creighton 6S. Thanks for watching.